I, Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome. It is your boarding call for Broomstick Airways. Your Yarn Vacation AU is about to wind up in Brazil and we are heading off to our next destination. I hope you've enjoyed Brazil. It is a vibrant, lively country with lots of culture and different things to see. It was definitely worth a visit. We've got some lovely project pictures posted. Our numbers are still a little down, about the same as last month, but that's fine. Everyone can do what they can manage during the, um, the month, because sometimes life gets in the way. Today's a very busy day for me. This is my second video, hence the same clothes. Uh, being the 1st of May, I had a lot to get done. It also happens to be Thing's birthday, so that's made it even busier. Anyway, let's get started. We are going to go somewhere now that is high on my bucket list. I've always wanted to go. I think it would be an amazing place to visit. We are off to Vancouver Island, Canada. Yes, Vancouver Island, Canada. Many years ago for work, I went to Vancouver and loved it. And I really would like to go across to Vancouver Island and enjoy it. I met some people on a trip to Italy who live there. We keep in touch. I get to see lovely photos of the animals that wander into their backyard in different seasons and all sorts of things. It just looks lovely. Also, Gary from Urban Yarn lives there. Make sure you check out the link to his channel. He's such a talented craft yarn artist and a nice person. So, Vancouver Island, Canada. Off Canada's Pacific coast, it's known for its mild climate and thriving arts community. On its southern tip is Victoria, British Columbia's capital. Um, what else can I say about it? Population on Vancouver Island, 864,864 as of 2021. The weather... I didn't really look at the highs and lows. I'm going to leave that up to the people who are doing temperature snakes and blankets. You can check it out and let me know the day what it was like. But the climate is mild. It can be cold in winter. British Columbia's national symbols. The flower is not really a flower. It's a tree. The Pacific dogwood only grows in the southern west corner of British Columbia making Victoria and Vancouver Island one of its remaining homes. It is a spectacular tree. Hopefully I'll have pictures at the end for you to check out. The bird is the Stella's jay, named after George Stella, a, George, a German naturalist. The, uh, the bird can be found throughout British Columbia, usually flocks to forests with nearby residential areas. They are bright and noisy birds. The mammal, the commode, commode bear, I hope that's how you pronounce it, sometimes called the spirit bear, is a variation of America's black bear and lives in the central and northern coast regions of British Columbia, Canada. While most commode bears are black, between 100 and 500 are fully white individuals. The white variant is known as the spirit bear. Agriculture. Growing conditions suit a wide range of products, including field crops, berries, tree fruits, dairy products, hogs, sheep, poultry, eggs, floral culture, and ornamental crops. Some of the things you could do while you're on Vancouver Island, you could take a boat cruise to see whales, orcas. I have seen beluga whales, minke whales, humpback whales. I have never seen an orca in the wild. I'd love to. So you could do a wildlife tour. Excuse me, I have to pause it. Sorry, got a tickle in my throat, all this talking, doing videos. You could go to the Royal British Columbia Museum, Pacific Rim National Park, or you could take a guided food and history tour of Victoria. That would be me. I think that would be great too. You could also drop in and say hi to Gary at Herban Yarn. Hopefully he'll make us a cup of tea and show us his projects. Vancouver Island is renowned for its rugged coastline, giant trees, abundant wildlife, 
The stunning natural surroundings and mild climate make it spectacular hiking, biking, camping and paddling opportunities. That is things, ideal location. He would love it. Quite simply, Vancouver Island is a nature and outdoor lover's paradise with much more to offer. Thing would be well and truly at home on Vancouver Island. So guys, I haven't done a lot of research because life has been extremely busy, but I hope you will do some research and come back and show me your projects and what inspired you when you visited Vancouver Island. I, I really want to go to Vancouver. When I retire, if I could afford it, I would do all of Canada. It really appeals to me. Anyway, stay safe, stay well, take care on your broom, don't get lost and have some fun on Vancouver Island. Bye for now. to our participant prize draw for Yarn Vacation AU. For the month of April, we have 21 names on the wheel. Good luck, everyone. It's glitching all the time. Congratulations, Amanda McCoy. You've won yourself a $25 gift voucher. Um, email me and let me know. We'll make some arrangement and how we will do the gift voucher. Congratulations. Hope to see you all in again next month. Bye for now.